What is going on, YouTube? I finally got the the Suron X, the Black Edition. And we got it all up and running. And right here we have the Segway X260. So, right off the bat, I'm going to start by saying that although these bikes look very similar, they perform very, very differently. Now, with the Segway X260, I purchased this bike from BuiltEbikes.com. It was $49.99, 4999 plus shipping. The total came to $5,349. I ordered the bike on a Sunday, and I had the bike delivered on a Thursday from Florida up to New York, four days' time. Now, the Suron right here, this did not come from Luna Cycle. This came from Mars Cars, which is down the road from Luna Cycle. I did order the, uh, the, the Suron from Luna Cycle, but they gave me a runaround and eventually just refunded my money. They did this uh, with a few things. I ordered the Supermoto wheels. Same thing, got the runaround, finally refunded my money. The only thing that I actually ever got from Luna that I ordered is the the float seat for the X260. So, anyways, I got this from Mars Cars. I paid forty three hundred, which is a couple hundred more than what Luna charges. I understand, you know, people have to make money. It's not a problem. You know, forty three hundred. I was trying to find these. I couldn't find them anywhere. Mars Cars actually didn't ship. I had to arrange third party shipping. I went on what was it U Ship and posted a advertisement stating that I needed a shipment from California to New York. Somebody said they would do it. I believe it was, oh, who was the company? Forward Air. Forward Air uh, did it for a total of $389 from California to New York. So, these are supposed to be the same exact specs, but the Segway, the X260, is significantly faster than the Suron X. The rider that was on the, the Suron X was actually lighter than myself. I'm 240, 6 foot 4, a ride in the X260. The person that was on the, the Suron X was significantly lighter than me, but yet the, the Segway not only has a higher top speed, but it pulls so much harder than the, the Suron X. I'm not sure exactly why. For all intents and purposes, I'm pretty sure that these are the same machine. I was thinking maybe the Segway has more amps and the Suron is, I know the Suron's, I, I believe is 80 amp. I have to check to see the amperage on the, the Segway. That could be why it's faster but it has a higher top speed and like I said it does pull harder. Now also on the the X260 we've got the DNM Volcano suspension which has the the preload let me get rid of this mask has the preload and the rebound adjustments right on top of the fork. And with the Suron X we have the RST Killa fork which I believe is more of like a mountain bike fork and the DNM Volcano is more of a dirt bike fork on the RST Killa you do have a compression adjustment no adjustment right here and there's there is also an adjustment on the bottom right there that's the rebound but like I said this is a seems like more of a mountain bike fork and this inverted fork right here is more of a dirt bike fork some other differences as you can see right away the front fender the Suron X doesn't come with the fender like the X260 the X260 has a nice durable plastic fender and the one that came with the, the Suron X is pretty much like a piece of paper super thin it's fallen off numerous times 
it's not even supposed to go here i think it was supposed to go lower but no matter where i put it it's garbage it's junk i need to get another fender another difference that you can see is the rear spring notice on the x260 it's red and on the Suron X, it's black. The one on the X is Fast Ace. 450 pounds. And the one on the Segway is the DNM. I don't know the how many pounds the spring is, but they're probably very similar. Another difference is the sprocket the sprocket on the x260 is like a matte black and the sprocket on the the Suron X is just a basic looks like stainless stainless steel so basically what you need to ask yourself is do you want to spend the extra thousand dollars for you know those little things but the speed is not a little thing. That's like a major thing right there. And for the X260 to be, you know, significantly faster than the, the Suron X, that alone in my book is worth the extra $1,000. Now, if I would have known that this was going to be the case where the X was going to be slower than the X260, I would have just bought another Segway X260 without a doubt. I'm actually disappointed in uh, the Suron right here. I honestly thought it was going to be just as fast, if not faster, than the Segway. Now, another difference is programming. Much, much easier on the, the Segway X260. The Segway has an app. If you want to turn the regenerative braking on, you can do that through the app. If you want to do that with the Suron, you need to plug in a cable and almost, um, it's like Morse code. You plug in the cable and you use the, the brake lever. Like if I wanted to turn on max power on the regen braking, I plug the cable in and then I would go one, two, three, four, and then one lawn press. The light is going to blink four times and then your, your setting takes effect, restart the bike and you're good to go. But it, all that is, it's not needed with the X260. You simply open up the app, select the settings that you want, bam, you're done. Everything. Everything that that you can do on the Segway, you can do on the Suron. But like I said, it's like Morse code. And sometimes you, you, you don't get it right and you got to do it again. It's just annoying. That's, that's pretty much it. Um trying to think if there's anything else that you guys need to know if you're considering purchasing one of these bikes in my opinion and definitely definitely go with the Segway it's just I don't know it just feels like more of a bike it's it's hard to explain the Segway came from builtebikes.com they're based in Florida the, Seg the, the Suron X came from Mars Cars in California. Go to MarsCarsLLC.com. The guy who hooked me up, the owner, Nick Diavilla, great, great guy. He helped me arrange the shipping so, you know, everything could go smooth. And it was a very, very smooth process once everything was, you know, arranged with the, the shipment. It's not that hard to do if you wanted to um, place an order through Mars Cars. Just download the the U-Ship app, post an ad saying that you need something shipped from California to wherever you are. The shippers will, you know, post a bid saying how much they'll do it for. And once you get all that finalized, you'll have what's called a BOL, a bill of lading. And that is basically a statement stating that you have this bike that is going to be picked up from, and it's going to say the the carrier's name and then you would send that to Nick and then when the, the shipper shows up he verifies who they are and gives them the the crate with both of these bikes it was uh, I had trouble getting the fork off of the the block 
for everybody out there who already owns a Sauron and they bought it new, you know exactly what I'm talking about. How the axle is it's put through this block of wood and it just gives you the hardest time to get off. It happened with with both forks. I thought maybe on, on the Segway, I just happened to get the one that was, you know, severely stuck, but the same thing happened on the the Suron X. So that that's pretty much it. I added some mirrors for the Suron X. It's a uh, I don't know, they seem a little much. Maybe I'll get something different. But on the X260, there's, you can see there's numerous mods on there. The pedals don't do anything. They're the Kanawaba 89mm crank Fox pedal system. It's great to have when you're out cruising and you don't want to be harassed by the cops thinking you got a dirt bike. So you just move these pedals and everything's good. They think you're on a regular bike. So if you guys have any questions, definitely shoot me a message. I will do my best to answer it. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. So in my opinion, the Segway X260 is the winner out of these two as far as overall performance, look, and feel. Boom, right there. Segway X260. And this is the 2021 model Suron X and the 2021 model X260. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to, to mention, there's a, a difference. It's actually a pretty big difference. On the Suron battery, it actually tells you to the, you know, the exact number, the percentage that you have. It says it, you know, right through the little hole right here you know whether you have 66 or 67 percent i love that feature on the x260 it doesn't do that until you hit 39 percent. that's when it starts showing you the actual percentage if you want to see it before then you have to open up the app otherwise it just shows you the five five bars and that's like i said as soon as you go down and you hit 39 that's when it actually displays the number <clears throat> So that is a plus for the, the X right here. Definitely knowing the exact percentage of the battery on the fly, that's, that's a great feature. And if I think of anything else, I'll post another video, but I just wanted to give you guys a clear picture of what you're gonna be getting, whether you decide to go with the Suron X or the Segway X260. So, Smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and uh, that's it. There's going to be plenty more videos coming, and like I said, if you have any questions, just ask below, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.